Okay. Checking sound quality, saying words so that I have something to check against and be able to make sure that the quality is good. Saying words, just gonna keep talking. Okay. Ah, can't get the load. It's always an issue. Okay, so video quality looks good, and then voice, maybe, waiting for the audio to catch up. So the like game audio is a little loud, maybe, but I think it's just because this music is pretty intense. Um, I'm sure if I get into a less intense area, it'll be a little bit better. Uh, but I think overall, I think I'm good to start back up again. Um, okay, intros for the YouTube archive. Hey guys, this is Tolhi and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII Uncut Part 21. Last time we left off, we were in this prison, making our daring escape. Um, but mostly just exploring all the floors, trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, in between uh, the previous, or during the intermission between part 20 and 21, I did quickly check to see if there was a GF I could have drawn from uh, Biggs and Wedge on uh, the fight I just had with them, because I forgot to try and draw off of Wedge. And it looks like, yeah, it was just cool magic, but nothing else that could have been drawn. I had forgot to junction uh, Selfie and Trippy beforehand, so I couldn't draw any of that cool magic like haste or anything. So I ended up just killing him with Zell, who luckily had Darksiders, or Darkseid on, which basically made it so that I could one-shot them both. But it's just a shame that I couldn't uh, draw some of that haste. That would have been useful. Is there a junction uh, for speed? Is speed even a stat? It is, I just don't think I've ever seen anyone with the junction speed ability. I'm sure haste would be useful. All these floors are the same in that there's not really anything on the second side. But one of them there will be. And I will be happy that I checked. Alright, let's head up these set of stairs. Floor 9. Oh, there's a barricade. I have to walk all the way around. Maybe that's why they're designed this way. Whoa, what are you? I have not seen this guy before, and I don't think I have his card either. It might be some card getting time. Uh, let's draw. Haste! Okay, never mind. Doesn't matter. I can get haste here. I'm gonna do some drawing. Probably want to cast scan too to see what this guy's got. You should have a scan lying around. Draw, haste, sock. Same. Oh. Uh, actually, maybe I do have this guy's card. Weak to lightning, earth, and water, it looks like. No effect with poison. A Galbadium machine that attacks with magic and missiles. Uh, the more advanced models use uh, high-powered beams. Easy. Doesn't matter though, I just need that haste. Let's probably do. Well, I don't know. Let's do a few more rounds of this. Unless this thing does something that's probably gonna really kill someone. And it's still not that bad. Probably can use a cure. Yeah, and we're fine. She has, like, next to no health. I didn't even need to use Akira, she's just fairly weak. That could potentially kill someone, so I might need to be a little bit careful here. Maybe we just do a dark side here and see what that does. 
Oh, that, that'll kill him outright. Okay. Good to know. Some screws, okay. Uh, let's go to... Magics. Exchange. Haste. Give all. Haste. Take all. 81. Okay. I need to get at least another 20. That should be pretty straightforward. I just like to have a hundred of magic lying around. Seems like a good plan. Uh, abilities? Is there anything here I haven't tried in a little while? I don't think I've used this life recovery. I can make zombies. Alright, that doesn't sound super useful. Tents make Curegros, uh, Curagros, Cura Gagas, Cura Gagas. Uh, those make a ton of those too. I could buy those from the store. I could get stocked up on that magic fairly early on here. Could make some deaths and regens from those. Could make 30 deaths from that. That sounds like some useful magic that I might want. And then status recovery. This is the other one of these abilities I've gotten, which I haven't checked on. Or maybe I did, because those all sound familiar. Okay, there's nothing here I want. Good? I think I'm good. Let's keep moving. Alright. Oh. Well, hello there, creature. Draw a berserk. I'll draw some berserks. I don't think I've scanned this thing before. Let's do a quick check. I don't think I have a hundred berserk on anyone right now, so maybe I'll just do some. Uh, Indigo strong monster not uh, good at using magic. Use powerful physical attacks, relying on its strength instead. Okay. Let's do a few rounds of physical draw. Or, uh, berserk draw, I meant to say. Also, probably should have healed Zell after that last fight. And I'll heal him when he's dead. Fucking magic! Words. I don't really have any commentary for this. I'm basically just drawing over and over again. Alright, let's do one more with Selfie and then dark side this guy to death. Okay, one more draw with Trippy and then Dark Side. Which is gonna do more damage than a limit break. Alright, really should heal now. AP. Good. Magic. Let's go you. Let's do Kira. Uh, one for you. And let's do one for Trippy as well. Oh! Good to check the doors. Draw point for Berserk. Let's gather up Berserk and see how many I have. Change, berserk, give all, berserk, take all, yeah I've got a hundred, alright I don't need to draw anymore, and then keep heading up the stairs, is there secret draws in this room, now I'm not sure I checked every room, did I check every door on every floor? Yeah, this one's blocked off. I gotta go around here as well. Also, should I have went down first now? I'm wondering. I'll probably have to traverse down on uh, after I get Squall, who I'm imagining is near the top. Whoa. 
Hmm. Okay. Oh, by the way, you want a card battle? No? All right. Well, I don't know. He might be bored here in his prison cell. What do you have in terms of magics? I could actually use some of this. get a good amount of these actually. I need to figure out something to do or say during these Asuna draw or during these draw moments when I need to draw a ton of magic. Um have a conversation about something. It's just funny because I feel like any other type of game, like if I was doing like, I don't know, Fallout or Darksiders or Sweeten in 2, for example, these situations don't really come up where you have to do like a super grindy thing. And so normally I'm just monologuing like my inner thought process, but my inner pro thought process for this, I guess is mostly what do I say, what do I say, what do I say? Which normally doesn't happen most of the time, I just say what comes to mind. Um, in fact, most of what I do is pretty straightforward in terms of commentary um, comes pretty naturally. Um, but when it comes to something like this, it's just like, I don't know, keep drawing. It's really all I have to think about. There's not really much more to be said in this immediate situation. And I feel like going off on a random conversation about something that's not particularly relevant to the current situation isn't entirely useful either, so... Alright, that's probably enough of this. Ah, uh, looks like Trippy's gonna get one more draw turn before Zell gets to do another dark side. That dark side is pretty great, by the way. I don't know why I didn't put that on as soon as I learned it. Because, I mean, what, 80 health? I can use a potion to heal that back? That's pretty, pretty good. Strength bonus. Alright, great. Let's go right to the junction stuff and equip that right now. Uh, abilities? Strength bonus. So this will give Zell extra points every time Zell levels up. That just seems like exactly what I want. So now that I've learned that, I could learn ammo refining. Or HP junction. Elemental defense? Summoning magic. Ah, uh, there's traces. Let's go fire magic. Let's get that out of the way. That should be a quick 30 AP to get up. And then... Oh, I almost have cover. Yeah. Good stuff. Let's go here. This room is never actually a room. It's a sad moment when I realize that. Oh! Another save point. Probably means the next floor is going to be something of interest, like Finding Squall. Let's go overwrite this. Alright. To the top floor. But first! Stupid wind creature that gives me a bunch of shears feathers. I don't think you have anything of draw interest. Scan, maybe? Lizard, I guess? Dark side. It's good. It's a good win. Solid. Yeah, the uh, strength bonus came just in time for that level up. Eleventh floor. I was really thinking something was going to be here with that save point being there. Interesting. All of these doors seem to be opening now. Draw point. I, I know someone has those. I'm pretty sure I made some of that magic already, but whatever. Four isn't really that big of a deal anyways. I just wish that that screen showed me who had that magic already, not just who had it equipped. Hey, you guys, I'm really bored. Want to play a card game with me? I'll give you something if you win, and I'll have uh, to charge you for the game. Only fair, right? 
How about 200 gil per game? This is exactly what I want it right now. Um, I'm like, you know, like, this game and the combat and the going up the tower is great, but card battles. Alright, so, it's been a little while since I've played some card battles. How do you play this again? Uh, we go here, and that gives me a win, because nothing can take this back. Okay, you go there. Thinking. Let's go with you, I guess. Okay, that's good. Probably gonna do this for doubles. And then we get another one there and we're good. What here don't I have? I have one of these, but let's find out what it gives me. Oh, here just as I promised. HP up. Raises HP. That sounds interesting. Can I turn that into magic? There's no way to switch between those in the screen, is there? That's a shame. No, okay. I was just seeing if that HP up could be turned into something. And what did I just pick up there now? I just picked up, uh... Something. This thing. So four of these become a tentacle. So I should get two more of those if I can in order to see what a tentacle does. Every game's gonna cost me 200 gil. I don't know, this probably doesn't seem like a good idea to fight this guy. But let's see what we can get out of it. Defensive play, go! Hmm. An 8 there. This will end up being minus 1, so that'll be a 5. He does have a 6 on the right there, so let's go with this. Safe bet. Alright, so then if that's the case we can go here. Retaking there. I can now retake with this one. And there. Solid win. I don't remember which of these is better. This one I guess? Whoa, he gives me something every time. And what was that card I just picked up? Sam, okay. And then card mod. I just like getting into this habit now of actually checking to see what these cards give me and trying to just slowly build up an idea of what these things are. Running fire. Okay, let's make one of those. And then I actually doubt I'll be able to find Running fire doing anything? Running fire, running fire. I don't see that anywhere here. Oh, yeah, two. Okay, so if I've had one before, then it probably isn't gonna give me anything of interest in terms of magic. doesn't have any interesting cards. It's kind of a shame. Let's see this corner. And I think we could probably lock that in with maybe this move. Yeah, it's safe. Nothing can retake Zell there, so that's good. We can go here to take that one. And then concrete a victory here. Nine to one. Let's grab this guy. The Ellen Ella Lauren Oh, yep. Potion? Okay. It's pretty useless. Well, it's not useless, it's just not overly useful. Uh need ten to make one energy crystal. Alright, well maybe I aim for- oh shoot, I hit the wrong button. 
Maybe I aim for collecting 10 of those to see what that energy crystal could net me in terms of refinement. Probably should have went to the top instead. Yeah. Seems safe. Go there. This guy seems like a pretty easy win most times. So this guy gets me Dino Bones, which would give me another 20 Quake. I don't really know if I need another 20 Quake, though. I've already got 100, but I could start giving someone else more Quake so I could have two people doing super high combat damage. Yeah, better to go with what I know than what I don't. Another potion. Let's do two more games. I'm just curious because this seems like the type of situation where there might be a rare card this guy has. And I say that simply because... Uh, even with the minus one, that's still an eight, which is going to be difficult for him to beat. I feel like we go with a good combo here, maybe? Getting both. Can only flip back one. Let's take that. Let's go there. I mean, at this situation, I think I gotta go with Wedge and Briggs. But yeah, I was saying, I think that if feels like he should have rare cards simply because this is a one-off situation like I wouldn't be able to come back here I think so rare cards would be somewhat expected in this situation that being said he did just give me the wedge and briggs and I think they're somewhat rare not super rare but not every character has them so maybe that's the thing that you can get out of him yeah, so I don't see anything else. This is my last game here. And we'll move on. Head to the top. Let's go there. Um... There? Tom berries, I think, turn into chef knives, which give me death. So let's grab one of those. Holy stone, wait a second. That's new. Same effect as holy. Can I ability mod that stone? With any of my magics? Seems unlikely, but worth checking. Whoa, could make one holy. One holy doesn't sound overly useful, but might be better than the stone. Huh. And then let's just double check that Tomberry thing. Yeah, this makes a chef knife. And then if I go into status recovery, no. Magic? Yeah, so I could convert, I could get a hundred death right now. I could also get one holy. Oh, options. So that was, I think, five battles. So first battle got me a HP up, five battles got me a holy stone. That would make sense. Alright, those seem like numbers. I could probably fight him over and over again, and maybe he would give me more items. But I think I'm done. Let's go to floor 12. 
How many floors are there to this place? Let's check the, all the doors. Nothing in this one. Had a couple floors of open doors. And now they're all shut again. Robots! Um, I think this guy had a Suna. Wait, let's just kill him. I think we drew enough of that. Steel orb. Well, cover. Here we go. So we go with junction. Nope, nope. I want that. Everything's going so terribly wrong. Go to you. Ability. Let's get rid of magic for cover. Because she's got so much HP, obviously. And then brothers. Learn. Defeng command. Sounds like it could be useful. But instead, let's get Spirit Junction. Hmm. No, let's go HP 40%. Really try and crank up the HP as high as possible on that character. Whoever has brothers is going to be covering and doing a ton of HP. Oh, maybe I should have went back and saved. Does that text say torture room? Oh, they can unlock everything here. Uh, let's do a quick pass of items. And then... Bigger it in. Hey! Squall! Wake up! Come on, Squall! I'm fine. You okay? It it was hell. I'll just get the hell let's just get the hell out of here. Catch Laguna, Laguna 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 make shortcut floor where? Wait, we can skip floors? Is that what you're telling me? But I want to talk to people first. Let's let's have a conversation. Thank goodness you're alright, let's go. Squall, are you alright? Let's get the hell out of here. Can I do anything else here before Laguna? Oh. Uh didn't you come here, uh... Didn't you come here as Laguna in the dream world? Uh, no. So Squall doesn't know how to get out either. Well, either way, we uh, keep going up and up. I think we'd better head back down. It'll be a pain to go down every floor. The alarm alerted monsters and security guards everywhere. By the way, how the hell did they carry you up here, Squall? Whoa! What's this? It's like a crane that can carry a detachable cell from downstairs. Oh, so, uh, this big hole goes all the way to the bottom? So, all if we jump all the way down, we're out of here. Go ahead, if you want to be squashed like a pancake. Oh yeah, I remember now. We can move this arm by using a panel above the control room. I remember Ward doing this. But we need to operate them both at the same time. Someone needs to stay upstairs and control the panel. Me? Fine. I'll give you instructions from upstairs. Everyone get inside. So this is the arm control room. Yo, can you guys hear me? Hi Azel, loud and clear. So what do you want? 
Uh, what do you, what do we do? Press the red button on the main panel. Oh, on, on this main panel? Oh, red, red button. I'll take care of the rest. There. Kind of curious what that shortcut thing I could have done now was. Oh. Hey, so what are we going to do now? Well, there's a door over there. And let's check it out. Whoa. Sand? Huh? Buried? You mean we're underground? In any case, we can't get out from here. What was that? Gunfire? Sounds pretty bad. Huh? Zell! Let's get back, quick. There he is, over there. Seize the escapee, dead or alive. Oh, too many, I'm out of here. Oh, shoot, I need to be running. Zell still has the appropriate junction magic on, though, so let's get this done. And down they go, just like that. Let's keep running. Potions. AP, good. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. They're gonna be on me the whole way around. Ugh! You bastard! Die! Whoa! Thanks, Squall! Didn't think he... Didn't think he'd go down that easy. Squall! Thanks, man! What? Let go! I said let go! Squall, Zell. I'm glad you're all right. Squall, why did you go on your go on your own? Is Zell is that is Zell that important to you? Eee ah! There's no way we can't get out of here. Uh, uh. Come on. Stop trying to act so cool. Gee, if only you had agreed with me uh, earlier, we wouldn't be in this mess. Squall. Squall's still alive. Or, Squall's alive. I knew he'd be okay. Squall's okay. Yay! Renoa, you're alright. Ugh. Of course. Courtesy of my escort. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, my father pulled some strings with the military. He told them to get me and only me out. Then, so this guy here, he came and got me. Just me. Knowing you were all captured. Uh, that's... Isn't that horrible? Alright, alright. I said I was sorry. That's why I'm here to help. After I scratched you to death... Uh... Anyhow, now's our chance. The basement door is buried in sand. Of course it is. This place is buried underground. Buried? That's right. This prison is a... There they are. It's the escapees! Squall, you two, uh, you choose two more party members and head on up. I'll hold them here. Up? Don't have time to explain now. The exit's up there, trust me. Okay. I think I know the way. Awesome. Uh, so, then let's choose... Zell, I guess? Well... You, because I don't want to have to change junction magic around. And you already have what I need, so then you go here, and then you were technically using... Oh, no! Oh, shoot. Everything's fine. 
everything's all confused now, but I think what I want is this. Yeah, because Selfie had been using uh, Renoa's set of magics. My turn to boogie now! Floor 9. Okay. So really, I should have went down when I first got out of those cells on floor 7, because now I'll never know what was on the early floors. That's probably where the secrets were. I'm just going to double check the junctions. Yeah, that's fine. And that's fine. Okay. And then your abilities are set properly, right? Yeah, that's what I want. Good stuff. Irvin and the others will take care of the rest. We have to find the up uh, exit upstairs. Okay, yeah, so we can't... We can't, uh... We can't go down. So yeah, there's probably some stuff down there that I cannot get. But again, probably not that important. Uh, this magic hasn't replenished. What floor am I on? I can't remember. Maybe the save point's here? Nope. Ah, floor 10. Okay. I think this is the one with the save point. So we were on the top floor, which is where the exit was, but then we made the mistake of going down, thinking that that would head out. But in reality, the door was just up there, and we just missed it. Alright team, what do we got to fight? Uh, one of these guys, this should be pretty straightforward. The somewhat unfortunate thing is Squall's already level 28, so he's probably not going to get many levels of strength bonus because of the fact that he leveled up so quickly in the early part of the game. Which is kind of a shame. He's going to miss a bunch of levels of not getting that extra strength. But now I just need to make sure the strength bonus is always on so he doesn't miss any more. Uh, floor 11, I guess I can just go right up. Floor 12, though, I have to go around. Is this the floor with the card battle guy? What do we got? Whoa! Tons of guys! Seems like a good point for Shiva to come in. In fact, she goes first. Here we go. That's what I was waiting for was the X, and then... Oh, almost reset it. 109, alright. That was one of the best boosts I've done so far. That's some good solid damage out of her, too. Uh, some items. 8 AP, wow. Level ups? Lots of level ups, no learn. Okay. Can't go through this door. Oh man, this is endless. Yo, what's our next move? Hmm. Hey! Can't we yeah, go uh, up again using the arm? I think Squall and the others are already up there. Hey, good idea. But they gotta operate it from the room upstairs. Leave that to me. Alright, let's head to the floor where the room stopped. down. Also, junction. Ah, uh, this is gonna get tedious. Okay, so you take squall stuff, you take that, yes, 
and then you take the stuff. And then we have to go to magic. You, I think, probably have the Kira. Yep, and then use that on Urban so that he can get his health back. So he can be guarding more effectively. And it's good I did that because I got in a random counter almost a few steps after. Oh, this guy. Get out of here, this guy. That's a pretty good crit. Mm -hmm. Yep, feathers, good. AP, good. It's all solid. So I might actually get to explore the bottom area now, after all. That's cool. Floor 7 was the one we were on. We've already searched this one a few times. This is the one with the save point. Okay. So let's save. Slot 2. Overwrite that one. Can't go in there. And can't go in there. Oh, and I can't go through there. There's a barricade. I have to go all the way around anyways. My bad. Circling. Circling. And then forward. Okay. Can't go in there. Looking at the time, I'm almost another two hours in on this. Yo, I found the seeds! Level ups, learning things. Who just learned what? That was you just learned spirit 20%, which is defense versus magic, if I remember correctly. I think you may have just unlocked one of those. I can't remember if Shiva had those already. Let's get 40%, and then let's go see who has Shiva equipped. In this situation, it would be. Selfie, who probably can now do ability, instead of magic, do spirit. Now nah, let's leave it with magic. Ah, door opens to reveal another prisoner. Escape. Still got fresh legs, huh? I'll stay here. I don't want to die. By the way, want to play some cards? I'm so bored. I'll give you uh, something to you if you win. But you don't get anything for free here. Give you a discount though. How about 500 gil per game? Cool. All right. Let's get some card battling in. Uh, let's try and make these somewhat quick because I'd like to get out of here in this part. Although probably not at the rate I'm going. Some more bigs and wedge cards. Let's go here. Great. That gives me the ability to just seal that one in. And I'm pretty much done now. Uh, let's see, as long as I don't make any dumb moves here. Should be safe to do that. And then do... This. Hmm, this gives me an X potion. But this gives me work towards an energy crystal. Let's do that. Here you go. Potion. Lame. Let's waste all my money here playing cards. I did just save a moment ago, so I should be able to make some rash decision decisions. What the heck is that card? With the double eights. I have yet to see that one. Um... To be safe. Just gonna let me place this here. I can then go 
here. What are you? Crazy, here you go. Potion. Honestly, don't care about that. I'm more interested in seeing what this card mods into. definitely get that card, right? Why am I being blind? Oh, there it is. 30 fire ammo. Yes, please. Uh, I doubt fire ammo can turn into anything. But just gonna double check real quick. Just gonna go down through the refines. And yeah, it doesn't look like guns become stuff. Tools and no. Okay, the fire ammo is useful because I actually do want to keep him low on health um, for him to use his limit break. Stuff. Strategy. Basically, strategy. Ammo is good. I want ammo. Oh, interesting. More cool looking cards. I think that's the boss monster. Let's do something along the lines of you. Should be safe. And this here. That's unfortunate. Actually, that should be a safe move. Awesome. Win. Yeah, this is the boss from the communication tower, the one that starts with E. Whoa, eye drops. Oh, those are just status items. It just wasn't a potion. Caught me off guard. Um, card mod. That could make 10 death stones, which I imagine would eventually convert into death, which is something I'm not a heat. Like, I don't really need. Chef knives. You know what? Let's go life magic and let's convert these chef knives into death. And let's hand that to her, I guess. 90 and then go to junction. Auto for attack. Death is better. By a small amount, but not by a huge margin by any means. How much sleep do you have? Three. Um, it's a weird thing about having switched those GFs around a little bit. So wait, would death be better on... No, probably wouldn't be much better on anyone else. Alright, whatever. That did some things. I just wanted to get the death magic in play. Uh, let's go here, like so another card there that I don't recognize. Second from the top. That's safe. And then you can go there. Actually, let's do you. Still a win. And then this thing I don't have. Here you go. Potion. Ability. Card mod. 30 dark ammo. Yeah, I'll take that. And final game. I did five with the other guy and it got me something good. So let's do five with this guy. Although it's probably not a numbers game, it's probably a percentage. Do defensive play. Let's attack here. Can't play there. I 
can play here though. Retaking both, that's a shame. And I think I lose this one. Or not lose, but draw. Yeah, one more then. One more win and I'm done. I saw that last one kind of unfold slowly. I was like, I think this is going poorly. And then as it finished up, I was like, oh no. No! Uh, I don't know. Here, I guess? Place things in places. That should be safe. No, double! Same combo! I saw it just before I did it, and then it was like, no, don't do that! But it was too late. I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna lose a card. Oh, I can't... I can't believe that. How could I have let myself... And whatever play I make here, I still lose a card again. Oh, and that was the wrong move. I could have at least drawed that. I can't believe I let that happen. Soft reset. Shoot. That is super unfortunate. Okay, well, you know what? We're not gonna do any of that shenanigans then. I'm not going to do any more card battles. I just missed out on that stuff. Whatever I just gained, I lost. Uh, I can't believe I did that. I placed it down, and as soon as I placed it down, I went, what about same rules? And looked and went, no! And I could have ended that in a draw if I had have played the uh, trippy in the corner instead. Or if, if I had have played the other way around. Yeah. I... He didn't really give me anything that super crazy. Well, that being said, he gave me that boss card. Which what? Gave me ammo types? I don't know. That is super sad. I'm just, I'm just, ah. Uh. Maybe we end this on a sad note. I've been going for about two hours. I'm gonna call it here. Yeah. And then next time I'll decide what to do. I'll decide what to do, yeah. I... Uh, everything's the worst. Alright, so... Let's do one card battle with this guy. Then I'm going to go back and save, and we're going to call it. I can't believe I let that happen. There's a bunch of stuff there I don't recognize. Let's go here. And then... There. Can't go there. I can't place anyone on that side. If I go there, I'm... Okay, I have to do this card. It's the only safe move I have. And then you retake there, which ends in a draw. Oh no, because that's... Yeah, I think I'm done. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, gamer guy 101 is in chat. Says he can't watch this one, this playthrough, because plans on playing it at some point. That's fair. I want to drop by and say hi. Hi! Thanks for dropping in at least. Sadly, this is a 
terrible moment. Um, yeah, because now I have to soft reset again. Because I lost Zell a second time in a row. Oh, so much momentum lost by that, that loss of card games there. And I have like all these rare cards I should not be losing. Yeah. But stopping here. Um, yeah. I'm gonna, I obviously, failing twice at card games, I'm just, I'm, I'm out. I, I, I'm, I feel like that's a good sign that I should stop playing for this evening. So, uh, next time, I'm gonna maybe hit up of that card game one or two more times at the start of the next stream, and then continue on down to the bottom of this and get out of this place, and then move forward! But, for now, this is Tolhi signing out. Later, guys.